Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And, uh, we're carrying on from yesterday. We're turning around and we're doing the other corner. Um, so we're still on the corner of Abbott's Walk and Milton Street in Fleetwood. I'm absolutely washed out, so we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, first day of school this morning, so the youngest is back in school. Which means I really need to get back into the flow of working, um, being the kind of first work day for me of 2023. Um, and I'm absolutely washed out, so I won't be getting much done today, unfortunately. This particular house here did come up for sale in the last year. Um, it's the opposite end of our street. There's one on our street that's bigger than, uh, than what we have. There's a weird balcony on that. Um, I. It's a lot more expensive than our house, so. Um, a lot of the houses on Milton Street uh, are flats. Um, there's a whole section of flats. It's what was once family houses, big family houses. That turned into uh, uh, dumps. It's a uh, message from us on school to remind us that we can buy exam revision books for the exams this summer. It's 10. Which is just, yeah. They don't really agree with it. pointless set of exams they were when they created them when I was at school. First year of those compulsory exams. Previous to that there were some non-compulsory exams around the same time. Um, and my school chose not to do them. Being a trained teacher, I don't really agree with the idea of um, teaching um, to, to just to the exam. Um, yeah, it's good exam. I was good at exams. I found them stressful, but um, I can't remember anything I studied at school because. We just they just taught the exam, uh, and as soon as the exam was over, I forgot it. To some people, it'd be embarrassing, I guess. Uh, to me, it's indifferent. I 
Sorry. I've always tried to excel at whatever it is I'm trying to do. Um, and kind of drawing and painting is probably the hardest thing um, I've ever, ever wanted to do in my life. Maths and science, really easy, as you know, correct answer. Um, there's no correct answers in art, so. Um, unless you listen to my high school art teacher, in which case I actually dropped art because. Um, just didn't want to deal with them. Um, so I don't actually have kind of the first qualification I have in art is my uh, ceramics degree. Uh, because my high school art teacher said I wasn't doing uh, cubism right. So instead of Kind of learning how to do it right, uh, I just dropped it as a subject, even though it's something I enjoyed. So much work that I was just in that way. I don't like some if I didn't like something I wouldn't do it for them. Um, that's what that does to me. Um, at the same time I was, I was completely I had, I'm more like that now. Um I grew up uh, a people pleaser, so I'm a recovered people pleaser. That just carries on ad infinitum. I don't know. Honestly, I'm absolutely exhausted. So, yeah, we're just going to take some shortcuts and ignore that. Just focusing on this building. I looked inside this house online because we didn't actually physically, when we looked inside our house, we didn't physically go and look at any houses because we couldn't agree on any houses to look at. Um, 
And by that I mean my wife won't have to look up much of my houses. Uh, I wanted to find a house where I could have a pocket studio. Because um, we didn't have one here. Um, I've got a shipping container one now. I also wanted somewhere where it was warmer because this house is cold and we couldn't find anywhere that kind of my wife would want to Blackpool a lot and I've never lived in Blackpool so I wouldn't actually know what to do with a new friend in Blackpool to get the kids to school and stuff. Not in their schools though, they said. Anyway, we're focusing on this building. Um, so, we're still here. Like I say, I built a pottery studio, so I've got a place to work. I've not really used it for much work, but oops. Water. I wish I had a reason for everything being all over the place, but I don't, it's just all over the place. It's like all my family live in the areas of Blackpool. It was. So. Um, yeah, it was too far away from family who help out all the time, so. Because unfortunately, due to due to my back being crap, um, I have to rely on family to not get the youngest to school. But the area in Blackpool they look at she's looking at is like near the Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Which is nowhere near it. Nowhere near the children's school. It would be quite a long bus ride. I'm sure we'll make one. And all the roofs down this, ex uh, this end seem to have. Uh, Play tiles on the roof, which always throws me one because I'm much more used to slate roofs. Yeah, we're only going to paint. Yes, but 
hoping and then you got the problem where um, the bricks are a slightly different Tarkov to the roof. So I'm just adding some yellow in. Just so then it's got the slight tone. It's the handy bit about watercolour, you can just do a lot of design you can just put it on top of there, tissue. Yep, yeah, so I've spent the last two days taking photographs for with what energy I did have have I took photographs of um of my pottery in a few different locations on the beach in the yard but um it's kinda of an hour focused and I'm just trying different things. And I should have mixed up enough to start off with, and I didn't. No, um, yeah, it's just trying to Uh, one of the reasons I went for the, to do the pottery first was to paint it for marketing my business this year is because um, brain fog uh, is because I can um, uh, style them in ways that easier ways so I don't know how to I know what I should be doing for the paintings it should be putting them on the wall making them look as if they're framed which I, if you've looked at the website I do but they need to be more so they need to be more in situ rather than just on that's one of the problems I have is the fact that because I paint everything they say four size although it looks big on kind of this camera on a big open empty wall it looks tiny um, which is what puts me off doing it that way Um, there's something more intimate about uh, something more intimate about um, watercolor paintings where where they demand to be kind of and when you're not happy you can just keep it up when I'm tired I tend to 
do it too much, keep pushing it too much. I don't find it hard to know when to stop when I'm not exhausted. And I shouldn't be exhausted because all I've done is make some photographs the last few days. This is fine. And when I'm tired, I tend to miss windows out, as you can see. It's just don't register in my head like you should do. Right. Let's put my red door there. That's what I wouldn't do. And I use some burnt sienna. A little bit of watering blue to just make a brownish colour. And now we need to do the shadows. I shouldn't be this tired, but I'm absolutely, absolutely exhausted. Shouldn't be so tired, and I know I shouldn't be so tired. And the problem is one of my health issues um, that I have seen my doctor about. The doctor's just passed me from pillar to post. I said, I'm not that old. I shouldn't be this exhausted. All I've done is this or this. I've got enough to give today. Anyway, that's it. That's the building we're focused on. That's what we created. I quite like it. But I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to. I don't know. I'm exhausted. I've got stuff to do. I've got uh, work going in the gallery at the end of the week, so I need to go sort that. Just going on. The whiteboard. It's going to be glued on. Um, sign on the back. Uh, it's going to be glued on there, that's why. That's... Uh, I'll put some more score marks on when we know exactly where it's going to go. But, yeah. Painted white. Got to allow a little two of the uh, material to come through. It's just some offcuts of MDF painted white. Um, we'll give it a little sand and then uh, put another coat on. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.